Somewhere beyond the measured calm of our solar system, beyond the rituals of planets tracing perfect ellipses and comets shedding their icy tails like cosmic breadcrumbs, there is something pulsing, not shining, not rotating, not flickering, pulsing like a heartbeat echoing through the dark. Every 16 hours on the dot, the brightness of the interstellar object 3i Atlas rises and falls as if some invisible mechanism were inhaling and exhaling, expanding and contracting, whispering a rhythm into the void. Scientists expected dust, gases, sublimation, maybe even chaotic outbursts, because comets are messy creatures. But they did not expect precision. They did not expect a cosmic metronome. And they definitely did not expect an anomaly so strange that some researchers now quietly wonder if we're looking at nature or something else entirely. Tonight, we dive into the mystery the world didn't see coming, the heartbeat of 3i Atlas and the 14 anomalies that led us here. NASA's most recent briefing tried to paint 3i Atlas as a familiar object, a natural wanderer with an icy nucleus rich in CO2, water, carbon monoxide, cyanide, and nickel, surrounded by a predictable coma and a harmless trajectory that keeps Earth comfortably distant. From their perspective, it is routine cosmic behavior, a comet shedding gases, glowing softly as it approaches the inner solar system, and flying past Earth at a safe 270 million kilometers on December 19th. And this is the version of the narrative built to calm, the one that allows the world to sleep without imagining extraterrestrial artifacts humming through the night. They emphasize what's normal, what's expected, what fits inside the catalog of past observations. But beneath that polished explanation lies the problem. 3i Atlas has been anything but predictable, and the heartbeat anomaly is only the latest crack in the story. While NASA frames 3i Atlas as a natural comet, researchers like Avi Loeb, along with several others who prefer to keep their names less public, argue that humanity might be ignoring subtle techno-signatures simply because science has a habit of discarding anything that feels too unfamiliar. They aren't claiming this object is artificial outright, but they point toward inconsistencies, multiple anomalies stacking one after another, each technically explainable, yet collectively improbable. In their view, dismissing possibilities simply because they feel strange is not scientific humility, it's avoidance, and the heartbeat phenomenon adds fuel to that fire, because periodicity in the coma, not the nucleus, challenges fundamental expectations about how comets behave. Even though NASA assures the world that 3i Atlas poses no threat, they've chosen it as the centerpiece of a massive planetary defense exercise coordinated with the UN and global space agencies from November 2025 to January 2026. This isn't casual. They are using this object to test observation strategies, orbital refinements, and emergency communication protocols, essentially rehearsing for the day when an object does pose a threat. And this decision raises eyebrows because if the object is so harmless and so typical, why use it as the anchor for a worldwide defense simulation? The heartbeat anomaly becomes even more intriguing when seen through this lens. Humanity is studying this object as if it were a lesson sent to us, intentionally or not. Avi Loeb points out a staggering coincidence. Three I Atlas aligned with multiple planets and adjusted its trajectory just enough to pass extremely close to Jupiter's hill sphere, almost as if aiming deliberately for the gravitational boundary. The probability of this happening naturally is 0.00004%, less than the odds of winning a major lottery and the acceleration required to make that adjustment happened while the object was hidden behind the sun, meaning no one could observe it directly. NASA simply altered their calculated values after the fact and categorized the maneuver as natural. But if the trajectory really was nudged, by jets, by sublimation, or by something else, that correction brings us closer to the enigma of the heartbeat because both imply unseen forces acting within perfect timing. When 3i Atlas was behind the sun, any shift in trajectory was invisible to all telescopes. NASA later updated the object's path to match the data, attributing the adjustment to standard non-gravitational effects. But Loeb insists that if the object were technological, this would be the perfect moment for a propulsion-based correction. Whether natural or artificial, the timing aligns suspiciously with the pattern later seen in the heartbeat. Movements, 
of brightness, of direction, happening just out of sight, just out of reach, but leaving measurable fingerprints in the data. You would expect that an object this unusual, this controversial, would be the target of intense scrutiny from major observatories. And yet there are no new high-resolution images from big telescopes, nothing from the world-class giants we rely on for deep cosmic truths. Instead, we depend on astronomers using equipment under $3,000, who, despite their limited tools, have captured astonishingly detailed images. Their photographs reveal strange structures, tails, anti-tails, jets, that should already have prompted deeper professional follow-up. The absence of major telescope imagery almost feels like the universe is teasing us, allowing only glimpses and shadows before unveiling the heartbeat itself. Amateur astronomers around the world have photographed three eye atlas showing both a narrow tail and an anti-tail, which already defies expectations. In Utah, images even show the anti-tail pointing in the expected solar direction, while the main tail veers off into a different orientation altogether, forming a strange inverted V. Comets don't typically disobey solar physics like that unless internal forces are pushing dust in multiple directions. And what are internal forces if not the same mechanisms that could create rhythmic jets, the cosmic heartbeat lobe identified? Images from Teriyasak Taolang in Thailand show two major jets extending from the object, including another anti-tail aimed toward the sun. These jets are structured, prominent, and in some frames appear to shift orientation in ways that make no intuitive sense if dictated only by sunlight. Such variability is exactly the kind of visual behavior one would expect from a periodic pulsing of material, an invisible rhythm sculpting the coma, quietly timed to 16-hour intervals. Other observers like Sater Murata and Julian de Winter captured long streak debris patterns trailing behind 3i Atlas, forming a kind of atmospheric wake across the solar system. The recurring structures, the consistency and spacing, and the changing angles across nights all seem to hint at processes repeating themselves rather than occurring randomly. These repeating structures foreshadow the discovery of the heartbeat by revealing that the object behaves with a strange internal order rather than chaotic outbursts. Avi Loeb's most recent analysis reveals that 3i Atlas exhibits periodic brightness variations exactly every 16.16 hours. At first, scientists believed this was simply the rotation of the nucleus, but Hubble shattered that theory by proving that over 99% of the light comes from the coma not the nucleus. The nucleus is too small to observe, meaning it cannot alone account for the measured variation. Something in the coma itself is pulsing, expanding and contracting, like a heartbeat deep inside a cloud of gas and dust. This is where the mystery turns from strange to unprecedented. Because the nucleus is invisible and contributes so little light, the pulse cannot come from its rotation alone. Instead, Loeb suggests that only certain regions rich in volatile ices become exposed to sunlight as the nucleus rotates, creating periodic gas jets that inflate the coma itself. This is like a geyser erupting on schedule, breathing outward every 16 hours. And the fact that the coma reacts so dramatically implies immense volumes of material being pushed outward during each pulse. James Webb data suggests that the material expelled during each pulse can travel up to 25,000 kilometers in a single cycle, enough to visibly alter the structure of the coma. Picture a balloon inflating and relaxing, except the balloon is tens of thousands of kilometers wide and the rhythm never varies. This breathing pattern is exactly what one would expect if a system inside the object were modulating its output like a repeating exhaust cycle. Although, of course, natural explanations remain possible. If the heartbeat came from a technological system, the jets wouldn't necessarily align with the sun. They could point anywhere. And intriguingly, some images show jets emanating in multiple directions, not all of them solar aligned. Yet because natural explanations, though complex, still exist, the scientific community defaults to them. The artificial explanation is always the last resort. But the combination of the trajectory correction, the anti-tail anomalies, the multiple weird dust structures, and now the heartbeat makes the natural explanation increasingly strained. Loeb emphasizes that it isn't the nucleus causing the variation, it's the jets themselves. 
Every burst changes the rotation slightly and alters the coma's geometry. In a way, the object is steering itself with the same forces that produce the heartbeat. This introduces a fascinating parallel. Even if the object is natural, it behaves uncannily like a probe that adjusts its orientation through burst-based propulsion. The line between nature and design blurs as the physics remain the same. Even if the object were technological, Loeb argues it's far more likely to be a relic, an artifact no longer active, drifting like Voyager will someday drift through the galaxy. A civilization discovering Voyager in a billion years might interpret its anomalous emissions as signs of life even though the craft is long dead. 3i Atlas could be the same, an echo of engineering whose creators vanished ages ago. The heartbeat could be an automated process, a leftover mechanism, or even just a natural sublimation cycle that happens to mimic intention. The next major milestones, December 19, 2025 for closest Earth approach, late 2025 and early 2026 for data from Mars and major telescopes, and March 16, 2026 for the close pass near Jupiter, will likely reveal whether the heartbeat is simply nature's strange trick or evidence of something far more profound. Loeb warns that the true test will come from observing how the object behaves across these encounters. If the 16-hour pulse continues unchanged, intensifies, or shifts in unexpected ways, the debate will ignite like never before. For now, all we can do is watch the silent beat of this interstellar wanderer as it crosses our cosmic front yard. As researchers review the expanding list of strange behaviors surrounding 3i Atlas, a quiet paradox begins to take shape, one that becomes harder to dismiss with every new piece of data because while each anomaly can technically be explained by some natural mechanism, a misaligned tail here, an unusually dense anti-tail there, an unexpected loss of mass, a trajectory correction that happened conveniently behind the sun, a luminous pulse appearing every 16 hours. The problem is not any one anomaly by itself, but rather the fact that all 14 exist simultaneously. Science tends to isolate each behavior, offering a neat natural explanation for each one, but this piecemeal approach avoids the larger and far more uncomfortable question. Why is a single interstellar object exhibiting so many improbable behaviors at the same time? It's like walking along a beach, seeing one strange footprint and shrugging it off as erosion, then seeing 20 more arranged in a perfect pattern and still insisting it's nothing but random chance. At some point, the accumulation of coincidences stops feeling coincidental, and 3i Atlas has long since crossed that line, especially with the new heartbeat pattern that adds rhythmic timing to an already puzzling list of events. We are rapidly approaching a moment where more data will collide with the comfortable interpretations that institutions have relied on until now, because while NASA maintains a firm stance that everything about 3i Atlas can be explained naturally, they also admit that definitive answers will not arrive until new observations from missions like Juno, JUICE, and Psyche become available in early 2026. These missions, along with observations near Jupiter in March 2026, will test whether the heartbeat persists, shifts, or disappears entirely. If the 16-hour cycle continues unchanged as the object endures different solar conditions, gravitational environments, and thermal stresses, then the natural explanations grow increasingly strained. And this looming confrontation is important because it exposes an inherent tension in the scientific process. The desire to categorize the unknown as quickly as possible versus the need to remain open to interpretations that feel uncomfortable or even improbable. 3. I Atlas is forcing science into a corner, demanding clarity at a speed nature rarely provides, and every passing pulse becomes a countdown toward that inevitable reckoning. If we step back and consider the heartbeat not as a metaphor but as a physical mechanism driven by periodic jets, it becomes clear that the interior of 3i Atlas must contain structural or compositional zones capable of producing highly rhythmic outbursts. Loeb proposes that volatile rich regions become exposed to sunlight at very specific intervals during the nucleus rotation, releasing gas in bursts that inflate the coma outward every 16 hours. But this explanation carries a deeper implication. The nucleus must rotate with remarkable regularity, and the volatile pockets must be distributed in a pattern that repeats with almost mechanical precision. 
Natural objects rarely maintain such stable periodicity over long stretches of time without irregularities or disruptions. The fact that the coma, not the nucleus, is responsible for most of the visible variation adds another layer of complexity because it means the breathing of the object is happening on a massive scale, involving tens of thousands of kilometers of material reacting in sync like a cosmic lung. Whether natural or not, this rhythm hints at an internal organization we have never seen so clearly in any other interstellar visitor. What makes the heartbeat anomaly so electrifying is not just the pulse itself, but the sense that 3i Atlas is heading toward a phase where ambiguity will no longer be possible. The closest approach to Earth on December 19, 2025, the observational campaigns extending into early 2026, and the high-stakes encounter near Jupiter's Hill Sphere in March 2026 together form a timeline that feels like the universe scheduling a revelation. If the object behaves consistently across all these transitions, continuing to pulse while altering its coma structures in ways that align or fail to align with solar-driven explanations, we may finally reach the point where either the natural model triumphs or collapses. And this tension is amplified by the fact that, despite all the official statements claiming normalcy, the object remains deeply strange, surrounded by coincidences, irregularities, and now a rhythmic signature that feels almost intentional. Scientists like Loeb argue that keeping an open mind is essential, not because the artificial explanation is preferred, but because refusing to consider it limits the scope of discovery. In that sense, 3i Atlas is not just an interstellar visitor, but a philosophical test for humanity's willingness to confront the unknown without dismissing it too quickly. And so here we are, standing at the threshold of an unfolding mystery that refuses to fit into any box we've built for it, watching an interstellar object breathe in the dark like something alive, releasing pulses of light every 16 hours as if marking time in a language we don't yet understand. For months, scientists have tried to reassure the world that everything about 3i Atlas is natural, that each anomaly, no matter how strange, has an explanation grounded in physics and chemistry, that the jets and the anti-tails and the improbable trajectory correction and the rhythmic heartbeat all fall within the realm of cosmic coincidence. And maybe they're right. Maybe this really is just a profoundly unusual comet performing a once-in-a-lifetime show as it crosses our solar system. But the truth is that the universe doesn't owe us ordinary, and sometimes the most astonishing discoveries begin with the courage to admit that we don't know what we're looking at. Researchers like Avi Loeb argue that closing our minds too quickly doesn't protect science. It limits it, because if we never dare to look beyond the familiar, we will never recognize the extraordinary, even when it's pulsing right in front of us. Whether 3i Atlas is natural or artificial, whether it is a relic drifting through space like a fossil of a long-dead civilization or simply one of the strangest pieces of frozen rock ever recorded, it is teaching us something vital. That discovery demands curiosity, humility, and a willingness to embrace the unknown without fear. The coming months, December's close approach, the new data from Mars, the encounter with Jupiter's gravitational boundary, will bring clarity one way or another. Until then, we are left with a heartbeat echoing across millions of kilometers. A reminder that the universe is far more mysterious than we allow ourselves to imagine. And if this object truly holds answers about what lies beyond our tiny corner of the cosmos, then we will be here when those answers reveal themselves, ready to see the universe not as we expect it to be, but as it truly is.